So Sasha, we can have a new World Cup winner. What? But Spain and Holland haven't won it before. And I hear the brand new dish in Germany is fried tentacles. <laughs> that Don Octopus. Yeah. Well, he's he's got to try it again. Yeah. Well, we'll have to see what he says this. Uh, probably tomorrow. He'll make his prediction. Yeah. But I understand that you must be Spanish, eh? I'm claiming. You're claiming to yeah. be Spanish, yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden. All of a sudden. So what's happening in world markets? We'll Suddenly powering on... ahead yesterday. What happened to this double dip talk? Is it all gone? Stock's too cheap. Yeah, and now people the saying on, they, uh, the what screens, was... Neural's gone. No, 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 no. He'll be back. He'll always <laughs> be back. Um, and on the local front, more talks of Aspen. Aspen um, Sigma, yeah. Bid. Yesterday, yeah. I, I think know. what's interesting is that um, the deal's worth about 4.2 billion rands, but the, the debt of Sigma is worth over 5 billion. So it's actually a lot more than that. Uh, and there's a group of shareholders, the in Sigma shareholders in Australia, who are saying, no, 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 this is too low. They own about. They think that Sigma could trade out of this and get out of their problems. Yeah, yeah that that's that's kind of the Australian point of view. Because I mean, the share price is halved in. in but just take ago. a few steps back. Why are people so anxious in the South African context about um, Aspen overpaying for this asset? I mean, in our book, anyhow, we regard Aspen management as probably one of the best management teams in the, the country. And in fact, I mean, just dis disclosure time, um, our clients own a lot of these shares. So, you know, we've trusted all the deals they've made along the way. And, with this, this one, one would be, be yeah. Cool this one would be no different because in and fact, again, the generic business is, is brilliant. Great margins, um, patents always expiring, so there's a lot of available growth there. Yeah, there is, and also stepping into developing markets. But I think what people often forget is that it's not like kind of a going to overpay at all costs. Aspen's actually stepped away from a couple of deals in a European context, so mm. you know I wouldn't get too anxious. Is there anything else happening on the local front? Did you see the Group 5 trading update yesterday? No. Neither did I. I was <laughs> focusing too much on your Spanish heritage.